So now that we have our plugin downloaded, installed, and activated, we're going to open up our text editor and start looking at some of the, uh, the files. So I have this folder opened up in Sublime. And um, you should have received uh, two parts to the zip file, uh, an assets directory with the bootstrap files. And inside the uh, bootstrap folder, you have all the CSS, um, the fonts, and the JavaScript. Um, again, remember that this bootstrap is customized to be uh, used only with an accordion. Um, you'll also have a file called accordion-plugin.php and what you'll see over here to the right is all of the information uh, necessary to get your plugin um, set up and installed. Um, up here at this line, line 4, You'll see a few settings, and the first one is plugin name, and obviously that's where you put the name. Uh, you have the URI for the plugin, uh, description of what it is, the version, the author, and the author's uh, website. And then just below you have, um, you know, some general licensing stuff and copyright info. If you have the WordPress. Um, plugin installed for Sublime Text, you can generate this uh, really easily by just typing plugin and you'll see here at the top plugin head and you hit tab and you'll have all of that uh, pre-type commenting code and you can just plug in all your information uh, related to your plugin. So if you're developing your own plugin separately, um, it's a quick tip on how to get that done easily. I'm just going to undo all of that. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is short codes. Now, if you don't know what a short code is, it is a tiny snippet of code that you can use in WordPress to uh, generate some more code, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a quick example. Call this page short code. And I've already got one typed out, but basically it's square brackets. And within that, you have a short code name. And most short codes take in attributes. And in this attribute, we have IDS, which, which stands for IDs. And these are going to be the IDs of the images that I want to insert into this gallery. Now, uh, the gallery short code is actually a built in WordPress short code. You don't have to have a plugin for that. Um, once I click on publish, you'll see that the editor has taken that short code and created this gallery here. If I go to view the page, uh, you'll see my three images all called on by the IDs that I added to the attribute. And then um, when you click on it, it'll take you to that image and it'll be kind of like a post. So that's basically what a short code is. And in my next video, I'll be showing you how to create one. Thanks for watching.